me tell you about a film that is a lot of fun. It is called Blackberry. It is in theaters. It is about the actual team of people who created the Blackberry. And oddly enough, some connection to Fool's Paradise. Glenn Howerton is in the film. He plays a character named Jim Balsilli. Balsilli is his name, uh, based on a real person who is the financier who became the CEO, the unwitting CEO of the BlackBerry company, which I learned a lot about in this film. BlackBerry was created by a bunch of Canadian engineers who imagined this device where you could send text messages over the internet. This is before the iPhone existed. It was the first phone that had a keyboard as a big part of it. So you could send emails, text messages. It revolutionized everything. I remember that they called it the Crackberry. I, at the time, had a Palm Trio, which was kind of a Blackberry knockoff. I then had a Moto Q that I still have that has a, a keyboard on it. Uh, old tech is now kind of fun to have is almost like a piece of ephemera. But this film is headed up by Jay Baruchel, who is the uh, creator. He plays Mike L Lazar L Lazaridis. And Mike Lazaridis was the one that envisioned a keyboard on a phone. Like if you just put a keyboard on a phone, you can, if you put a keyboard on a phone, you can, you can send text messages. So this was the big innovation. Uh, this was like in the late 90s, early 2000s, and they they got a group of investors together. Glenn Howerton's character, Jim Balasilli, uh, helped raise the money. They created this company. It's a comedy that is about a ridiculous company that had like a very meteoric rise and a, a, a huge fall. It's funny and weird, and I didn't even recognize Glenn Howerton from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia because he shaves his head bald. He's got a bald head with, like, hair on the sides, and I'm looking at him going, like, that guy's familiar. I didn't even recognize Glenn Howerton. He's so good in this part. It's over-the-top, ridiculous. The things that happen, it's, it's, it's like uh, an episode of Silicon Valley but like a special episode of Silicon Valley that is just focused on the Blackberry. It's funny and uh, it's a bizarre true story. And, and the way it plays out, uh, I love the sort of true story aspects of it. I'd love to see actually a companion to Blackberry as a, a, a documentary. It's also an hour and 59 minutes, an hour and 59 minutes. It doesn't overstay its welcome, entertaining. It, it's more of a comedy than a drama. I really enjoyed this film and I strongly recommend it. A strong seven or seven and a half out of 10 for me. You will have a good time at the movies. Lots of great cameos from actors that you'll recognize, comedic actors uh, like Rich Summer, uh, among others. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Carrie Elways is also in it. It's like, it's like Silic, it's like an, a, a really good extended episode of Silicon Valley focused on the creation of the Blackberry. Strong recommend. So there you go. Uh, uh, see, there is a good film and it is in theaters today and the director is going to be joining us at the end of the show. So yeah. they... I know you've mentioned a lot, but watching this, I, I definitely felt like I, I, I want to see a documentary about this. Yes, yes. Because I, I think the characters in the movie, you know, it, it is a comedy. So there's, there. I think they're much more caricatures than they are actually char characters. I, I found it very interesting. Um, especially for people who have lived, who lived through the dot-com boom and then the dot-com crash. Um, this is a story that plays right into it. it the, the idea that, um, the idea that they were selling something, they, they were selling technology that had not yet been developed yeah. and, and the ramifications of that. And I found that incredibly fascinating. And so I'm, I, I am kind of wrestling with the, the depth of the story as it was happening at the time versus... Uh, alongside the comedy that that was placed on top of it, and that's why I'm feeling like you know I, after watching, I do want to see a real documentary about this. Yeah, because especially at the end, I, I don't want to spoil it, but at because obviously the company failed and went out of business. But it's so it's kind of so funny the way it 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 actually plays out, and it's real. They they throw up these you know a little thing a little button at the end that kind of gives you the context, and then you see the real people that that you know the characters in the film were based on you see pictures it's it's a crazy story and i would even compare it'd be a good companion to the movie tetris 
now on Apple TV Plus. Like I love like the real story behind uh, some piece of technology. This this seems to be a genre now, but this would be a great companion to Tetris. Um, and and I really enjoyed the film. <laughs> <laughs>